This episode brought to you by Menison. Meat's back on the menu, boys. As recommended by Sailing Manuel. Hey folks, Doc here. One of these four things just doesn't belong. Can you tell which one it is? One of these four things just doesn't belong. If you guessed the lighter, you'd be wrong. If you guessed the delegate, the, C, uh, the C, CRKT, you'd be right. This just doesn't belong. Yeah, I'm going to take that out of the picture for now. The reason these things belong together is that they all belong to my father. And uh, when my dad had these, um, I suspect he had this as a very young man, probably a teenager. Um, and these two items I know he had during World War II. This one I believe he acquired during World War II in Europe. I'm not positive about that. There is no family history behind it. This one, um, he either gave to himself um, as a gift uh, going to the war, or um, it was sent to him as a gift, or given to him as a gift as he left for war. There's also the possibility that uh, he bought this, or someone else bought it for him post-World War II, but the stories I've heard, this is the lighter he used um, when he was overseas. I've got some survival coffee going here. Yummy instant, yay. So anyway, I thought I'd share these things with you, particularly this. Um, this is his uh, lighter. I, I don't know if you can see. I think you can see it. Um, the initials are SES. His name was Stanton Elmer. Um, yes, those were common names back then. Um, probably laugh at him now. As you can tell, I have broken it. I tried putting a flint in. I wanted to repair it. Uh, to get it functioning again. It wasn't really broken when I, when I took this out. Uh, it is now. Uh, I could not get the spring back in and uh, I pushed a little bit too hard and gave it a little twist trying to like almost like screw it back in and uh, it stuck in the channel and uh, had a heck of a time getting it back out. I couldn't get it in any further, couldn't get it out. Um, I eventually ruined it but um, Hopefully I can get that fixed. If anybody knows a place where I can get it fixed, I would appreciate it. This particular model um, is a Ronson Adonis. I don't know if you can, you probably aren't going to be able to see that, but that's pretty rusted and beat up. And we're not going to focus now. Thank you, camera. I'll present that a little bit better there. Um, that looks like it showed up. It's a Ronson Adonis. Looks like it was made, um, from what I can tell, in Newark, New Jersey. And it's sterling silver. So if anybody has information on that, and I think it's Cutlery Lover um, collects or used to collect Zippo lighters. So if you have any idea about this Ronson, I'd appreciate it. Or you know someone that might be able to tell me about it, or better yet, um, if you know someone who fixes these items, I would really appreciate that. Well, let's go back further in time and look at what I think, personally, I think this is the more interesting of the knives, but I'm probably wrong about that. It probably has a lot less history. This is a Utica, a Utica, um, geez, I don't know, yeah, you can probably see that, Utica. Um, they, I believe they still make knives, but I cannot find reference to this particular knife. Um, it looks a bit like a, a Bowie knife um, in the blade shape, except that the uh, it, it kind of sweeps up more here, um, I think. I, honestly, I don't know that much about knives, and I'm probably proving that to you right now. Uh, but this is a cool little knife. I wish it were in better condition, but my father kept it in the garage for, I don't know, 30, 40 years. 
Uh, so it went through a lot of frost thaw cycles. I've cleaned it up a little bit, but as you can tell, right in here, there's a pretty good amount of very deep, blah, deep pitting going on. So I don't know how repairable this is. I'm going to do my best or see if I can find somebody to repair it. The a bigger problem probably for uh, for me is the handle. The handle is broken here at the tip on both sides. It's cracked off. I believe this is uh, antler or bone. I think it's antler. I don't think it's plastic because it seems to be wearing thin in places. Um, I wouldn't expect plastic to do that, but bone possibly. So um, obviously it's not a fighting knife because there's no guard here to keep your hand from sliding up the, the blade. I think this is a pretty much a utility um, hunting knife. My dad, when he was a kid, probably used it for things like skinning rabbits and, and squirrels and stuff like that, um, whatever he would catch and eat. I don't, he was never a big deer hunter. I think he preferred hunting small game like um, deer, or not deer, but, uh, rabbits, um, pheasants, grouse, things like that. And this is probably the knife he used when he was out doing that. Uh, when he was a kid, um, things were a lot different. And uh, people commonly went out hunting and fishing and just, you know, bopping around outdoors a lot more than we do these days. Um, the sheath is definitely not made for that knife. This knife is like totally loose in it and flopping around. Probably just one of those things that depression kids did is if they damaged or lost a sheath, they just went out and found another one that had no knife to go with it and they'd stick it in there. I remember this hanging up in our garage for years and years. There's a nail hole right here. It was nailed to one of the uh, one of the two by fours in the garage and just hung there forever. Never saw him use it either. Um, I think I've gotten more use out of it in modern times than he has.